as a freshman or transfer student at Mississippi State, you might have been a little nervous before starting your classes. After all, it is a new place with tons of people you don't know. However, with New Marine Camp, MSU is breaking down those barriers for incoming students. We're excited about what we're doing here at New Maroon Camp. Uh, the camp is designed to help students get acclimated to the university. There's a lot of programs that do that. This is one of them. It's gonna, it's gonna help them make the transition to the university into a bigger setting that they're used to. Just the New Marine Camp is such a unique program at Mississippi State, and there are so many students who are impacted one-on-one -on -one by the camp, but also it really does just touch so many lives because the students that go to New Marine Camp, they are just on fire for Mississippi State and so excited. So when they are finished with New Marine Camp and get back on campus, I think that that passion really translates to other students and it's contagious. So I think that New Mar Marine Camp is not only affecting the students who attend the camp, but other students who aren't attending the camp are affected by the students who attend. During the five-day event, campers learned about the history and traditions at MSU, along with meeting a few new friends. I would totally recommend next year students do it because it's a great way to meet new people that are in your situation. It's a great way to learn about Mississippi State traditions, just a way to get plugged in before everybody else tries to jump in. After spending two nights on campus in Starkville, the camp relocated to Twin Lakes to have a real camp experience. While at Twin Lakes, campers had team building exercises along with games and of course, plenty of bonding. <music> Following two nights at Twin Lakes, the campers returned for their final day of camp to learn about MSU athletics. This included tours of the new end zone and gridiron club at Davis Wade Stadium, along with the viewing of the Palmero Center and a special guest appearance by MSU baseball coach John Cohen. My favorite part has been all of the, the silly things we do because these students come in, they're kind of to themselves and shy and want to be cool, but at the end of it they're screaming and singing with uh, wigs on and just yelling, running around crazy. They're all very comfortable with each other and comfortable with us. It's, it's a cool th place to be. We have a lot of friends you're comfortable hanging out with and being crazy with. Even though Numerian Camp may be over, many lasting memories were made.